Hello. So let's model this bit. I made a drawing. Let's have a look at that. Um, the overall length is 22 millimeters. There is a hexagon at the base with six millimeters height. The tip is four millimeters, six millimeters depth. There are two chamfers, one millimeter and 0.5. And the radii are R4 and R1. All right, after we model this, I want to show you this drawing environment and we'll recreate this drawing here, okay? Okay, so let's get into Part Studio and start a sketch on the front plane, a polygon in the center, six-sided, make that edge horizontal with H, P hides all planes, D lets you dimension the height with uh, six millimeters. Okay, let's move those dimension lines here. And shift E lets you extrude with that 22 millimeters. Change the appearance of that part to gray. And then let's make that cut here on that face. With U, you can um, project those edges. And with O, you can um, offset those edges to the inside, dimension one millimeter. Shift E again lets you um, go into the extrude. We'll I'll use the remove, and the depth of that is six millimeters. All right, so we get that. Now what's next? Let's work on those chamfers and that radius four millimeters. That will be a revolute sketch. So that'll be on the top um, plane. And let's work with that intersection um, command and intersect, well, that face, that edge, that face, that edge, and that face. All right. Um, for the revolute, we need an axis. Let's draw that here to here. And then let's, well, make that a little easier to see with a translucent um, viewing option. And then let's draw those chamfers. Make that a dimension of one. And angle 45. All right, at the top, um, there is that 0.5 chamfer. Point 0.5, and um, again, 45 degrees. Okay, now let's have a look at that um, radius. Um, we got that arc command here. 
center point arc. I know it's uh, on that edge vertically over here. It starts here and goes over there. Give that dimension four millimeters. And that's it. Now go into the revolve. Face this. That's too much. We just want that one, that one, and that one with that axis. And it's not add, but remove solid. Okay. Um, let's hide that plane. Look at that. Go back to shaded. All right, and now we need to make another operation, and that will be on the right plane, right? So start a new sketch on the right plane. N always lets you go to normal to plane. Um, and again, take that center point arc over here. I'll first I'll just draw it like that. Um, and now project some edges. I'll use U as a shortcut on that face, on that one, and on that one. All right, so that's going to be the center will be vertically to those six millimeters here. Then let's make that coincident with here. And that with that arc and give it that dimension of one millimeter, right? Now, go into the extrude. Okay, he picked that region. Remove symmetrically through all. Accept that. All right. And let's make that sketch number three visible again, because we need an axis for the next one, which is a circular pattern. So that'll be a feature pattern. I can pick it from the tree here. Axis is that one, six times, right? Apply per instance and accept that. All right, I'll hover over that sketch and say hide all sketches. Just a little bit. And so this is the first part, the modeling part, and we're finished with that. And now um, let's remember that Part Studio is called Bit. And uh, I'll start a drawing. Create drawing, all right? And I'll take the ISO A3. Accept that. Okay. And now, all right, bit. I'll open that. There's my part. Get that over here. And, well, actually, I want to have that view. So I'll delete that one, move that over here. We see there is an issue. We don't see that edge, right? So let's double click here. And instead of view render mode, best performance, I'll check best quality, all right? And maybe that's too big. Let's use the six to one. 
Maybe, right? Accept that. Move that over here. Now go to projected view and pull that top view down here. And then again, we want um, that isometric view. So I'll, I'll go in the diagonal over here and then pull that up here. All right. And next is dimensioning. Again, I'll just press D for dimension and pick that edge and that one, go down here, 22. Um, again, then the height, six millimeters, that one, four millimeters. Then we get those chamfers, right? So let's pick that chamfer dimension option. Go in here, pick that edge and that one. One times 45 degrees, great. And one more time. That edge, that one over here. Great. Now we need um, that six millimeter dimension from that edge over here. All right. And then we need that those radii. And let's center mark those arcs. So one is over here, and the next one is down here. Those might be a bit too large. Let's get it down to that size. Over here and here there again d let's get that arc and maybe dimension it over here and there again right there all right let's have a look at that and and that's it we're finished i hope you you like the the video, if you liked it, leave a like. Or you can leave a comment. Um, it's always nice to hear from you. And see you next time.